The International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction is an opportunity to recommit to the goals and targets of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, which seeks to reduce disaster risk and losses by the year 2030. Unfortunately, the risks have never been higher, as climate-induced disasters are now causing a global crisis. And this is why we welcome this year's COP hosted by the government of Egypt with great expectation as a chance to elevate the voices of the countries most affected by climate disasters and to accelerate the implementation of the Paris Agreement and the Sendai Framework. The theme of this year's International Day is all about early warning and early action for all in support of achieving Target G of the Sendai Framework. By investing in early warning systems, Many countries have been able to decrease mortality from disasters significantly. For example, Bangladesh remarkably reduced its cyclone-related deaths by more than a hundredfold since 1970. Yet, one-third of the world's population is still not covered by early warning systems. In Africa, that number is at 60%. This is simply unacceptable. This is why the UN Secretary General committed the United Nations system to spearhead new action to ensure every person on Earth is protected by early warning systems within five years. Realizing this goal requires more than just equipment and forecasting skills to detect hazards. It requires a whole of society effort to ensure that all risk communities are prepared to take action when alerts are issued. And no group is more important in this endeavor than the media. The media has two key roles in this process. The first is to ensure that communities understand the risks they face and what they need to do in order to stay safe even before early warnings are activated and disasters hit. To give you an example, in 2018, many people in Indonesia were killed by a tsunami because they simply did not know that their city was vulnerable. As a result, they were not prepared to take action once warnings were issued. The second role of the media is around ensuring that no one is left behind once an alert is issued. This requires building trust with communities and ensuring that information of early warning reaches all at-risk groups with enough time to act. As members of the press, you are the best positioned to bring to highlight to policymakers unaddressed risks that threaten communities and the root causes of disasters, which include inequality, poverty, and corruption. Your role in the whole of society approach to disaster risk reduction is enshrined in the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, and the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction is proud that we have a wonderful partnership with media to this end. And I look forward to working with you in the future to further strengthen our partnership because only through partnerships together we can create a world where disasters do not devastate. Thank you very much.